What's up, friends? I want to answer a simple question today, and that question is, why does focus cost what it costs? And then an extension of that question is, is it too expensive? And the reality is the answer to that question uh, requires an understanding of, uh, of a concept that, that I'm going to call stage one and stage two thinking, okay? And so with a website, stage one thinking might be something like this. So the, we look at our little graph here. This is your website, and your website exists over time. And so the common misconception and the, the, a very intuitive thing that we all seem to think is that there is a, some point in time where our website is complete, where, you know, whatever design we've been building or all the components we're integrating, like we make, perhaps we hire a designer or developer to help us. And there is some point that that, that person will help us get to or that we will achieve where our website is complete. That is completely false. There is no point in the future where your website is ever finished. There's no such thing as a finished website. You are either in a state of continuous adaptation, changing things in your site, making them work better, integrating new things, or apathetic abandonment, where you no longer add new stuff, you kind of just let it wither and die, you no longer update things, etc., etc. That's attrition, the thing just kind of slowly dies over time. So this notion that there is some point in the future where your website is done, that is stage one thinking. And what that, essentially what that means is like, you know, we call that stage one because getting to this point, that is stage one. This, this theoretical point where things are complete. Okay, so even if there was, was such a state as a stage one for a website where a, a site is actually complete, once you reach that, you have a new landscape to consider. That's where stage two comes into play. So stage two is this idea that, okay, once I get to this theoretical stage one, what then? Uh, you know, you have a whole new set of concerns. So let's just say, to illustrate this point, let's say that your website, you want to build a, a membership website of some sort, and you're going to build this on WordPress. Well, stage one is sort of like the launch. You get your design together, you integrate your membership, you know, software component, maybe that's a plugin, and everything sort of works, uh, and you made it. You, are, you have achieved stage one outcome for your website. You, you have this thing that, you know, has, has a membership component and people are able to log in and use it or whatever. Well, now that you have reached this point of stage one, now you're in stage two land. And stage two asks a whole different set of questions. It's not just about getting your website up and working anymore. Now it's about, oh, I need to make this adjustment. I need to add these email forms. I want to convey this information to users on these particular pages. Uh, it, it's about refinement. It's about uh, doing specific things that are unique to your business or your website or whatever you are doing. Specific things that are unique to you and sprinkling those in to your website. Uh, this is not something that typically happens when you get to stage one. This is something like you operate, you've made it to stage one, you're operating in this you know, arena for a little while and you say, ah, you start to recognize, I need this, 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 and this, I need to, to do these things. So like I said, some common things you might do, you're like integrating email forms, for example. Some of the problems associated with that is, well, if you integrate the email form, you want to adapt it to your design. Oh, and now when I try to adapt it to my design, I've got these problems because it's not perfectly responsive on all screens. It looks bad on mobile, whatever. There's all these new concerns that come about when you start to, when you achieve stage one, you start to look at your website in the context of this stage two sort of thinking, stage two thinking. Stage one is, I just want to achieve this outcome. Stage two is, okay, let's say we achieve that outcome. What are the variables going to look like then? What are the questions I'm going to have then? What am I going to need to do then? What serves me when I reach this point? The, the big gotcha with WordPress and, and, and you know doing anything custom with WordPress at all is that most 
so most plugins, most themes, all the stuff that works with WordPress is built to get you to stage one and gives zero mind at all to what happens, how you navigate that landscape from, you know, in the stage two zone. Zero, uh, there's nothing there that you can leverage to make your life easier once you, you know, get in stage two territory. And so that, understanding this, understanding the difference between stage one and stage two is critical to understanding what the value of focus really is. Focus is built for this entire journey. It is built for you to try to get to that stage one milestone where you have a website that works that actually does something unique. Maybe it's a business, whatever. Uh, and then stage two, you know, what, what's my experience of running my website like? Does it suck? Am I bummed every time I need to integrate a new component because I just know I'm going to have to go through this mess of responsiveness, making sure it all works, figuring out how to make it work the way I want? Um, for most people, for normal people, those, these stage two questions are really expensive. They involve you needing to get a designer or a developer on an as-needed basis, something that is harder and harder to do every day because all the good designers now work at agencies. Agencies only work on large retainers. We're talking like $25,000 and up. You are not affording that. I know this. I work with you every day. I know what normal people, what their reality of, of working with websites is, and I know that this when people get to stage one, if they use some of these themes like Elementor or uh, Divi or Avada or some of these things that look super fancy and look like you can do anything you want, the reality is if you are even able to make it to stage one, which is no guarantee with these, these terrible pieces of software, you run into the brick wall of reality here that's so strong and so huge that it's likely that you are never going to get past this point with your website. And what I mean by that is you'll achieve whatever idiosyncratic outcome, custom design, whatever you thought you wanted. And by the time you get to this point and look around and say, oh, I need to add this thing and this thing and this thing, you have no way to do it. You're going to have to hire somebody. And even then, this person's going to be wanting to tear out their hair because this operating environment sucks. The reason it sucks is because the software you're using has not been built to accommodate you from the genesis of your website all the way through to stage one outcome and then on down the line to stage two. The stage one to stage two gap is the experience of running your website. If your experience sucks and if you can't do anything on your own, you're probably not going to stick it out with your website. It's going to die. You're going to let it go. Uh, that dream is going to die. I don't like that. I think that that's, you know... Uh, that's, a, that's a, a poor outcome. That's not good system design. If, if everything was, you know, if you were using stuff that was built to accommodate this journey, you would be able to do it. But the way things are set up right now and the way everything in WordPress is, has, has been built, it's like, oh, hey, let's just achieve stage one. Let's, let's achieve the coolest, you know, coolest stage one thing you can with all these fancy, you know, controls for your design or whatever else. You can do it. You don't need to hire somebody. You won't need code. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever the other lies you've been told by, you know, within the WordPress ecosystem, it, whatever you have decided to, to swallow, um, the bottom line is all this stuff that exists in WordPress it exists to get you to stage one, and everyone just, by the time stage one to stage two, just throw up your hands, eh, you gotta hire somebody, good luck. Well, I got news for you. You can't hire someone anymore. You don't have enough money to do it. You're gonna need, to, if you have website aspirations, you're gonna need to go from start somewhere into this stage two zone, and you need something that's gonna help you be able to operate within that without needing to hire somebody. That's what focus is. It is much more challenging much more challenging from a development perspective to build something that works well from zero to stage one and from stage one on through stage two. Especially this stage one to stage two part of the equation, this is huge. Like I said, if you are running a serious website, stage one on, whatever happens after stage one, that is the experience of running your website. That is literally everything. And everything that exists within WordPress except for focus is just completely ignores stage one on. Everything after stage one, whatever. If you use products designed to only get you to stage one, you are guaranteed to suffer and to hate your website life from stage one on. And that is, this is the critical distinction 
that uh, is just not well understood. You know, by this is it's not well understood because people don't expect to have a product that is designed around this part of the journey, the early part and the mature part. We just don't expect that because we've not had any products that do this before. But that is exactly what Focus does. Focus sets you up with a system, a system that you can use to very easily get from zero to stage one, a very awesome, fast, optimized, the fastest, the fastest WordPress websites you can build with Focus. So you will achieve the best, in my opinion, stage one outcome. I'm talking even with custom design and stuff like that. You can absolutely customize the heck out of your focus environment. You are not stuck with some blank default sort of thing uh, you know, that's bland. Not at all. You have plenty of controls to do whatever you want to get to stage one. But the bottom line is when you get to stage one, you're going to have a well-oiled machine that just works. And it works well. And not only that, when you achieve this stage one outcome, you will be in an environment that is set up to accommodate you in this future growth and this trajectory that your website is on. And so now when we go back to the original question of is, is focus too expensive? Well, I guess that depends on, uh, that depends on the level of foresight that you have. If you only want to get to stage one, there are other options that are, you know, priced around the same, uh, you know, price point as focus that are going to promise you much, much more. They're going to say, oh, you can design this, you can drag and drop this, you can do all this stuff, you can do it without code. It's all a bunch of pretty pictures and fluff to get you uh, emotionally attracted to the outcome that those are going to provide. Of course, they're not going to tell you that, hey, this, this right here, once you reach stage one, this is the brick wall of reality that you're going to smash into at a zillion miles an hour, and you're not going to be able to do anything, anything easily with your site from this point on. Not one thing will be easy. Even a trivial design adjustment is going to be a huge pain in the ass from here on. Not so with Focus. Focus makes this stuff easy and trivial downstream when you are running your website in the future. So not only is Focus the ultimate way to get from zero to stage one, it is the only thing, it is the only software in the WordPress ecosystem designed to carry you from stage one on through the rest of your, your website's life cycle. So when we consider in that way, when, and when we also consider that Focus is going to deliver the most performance optimized result, and it's not close. With Focus, you can build web pages, even on e-commerce sites like I run on DIY Themes, which I will flip over and show you real quick. This is the DIY Themes website. This is an e-commerce website, okay? This runs easy digital downloads. It is a WordPress plugin to run like membership stuff and you know uh, a little digital store. And this site, the pages on this site load in 1.2 seconds. You will not find, that's without caching, no caching. You will not find another example of this in the WordPress ecosystem, period, full stop. This is, Focus builds the fastest pages, the most optimized pages, uh, and even takes a complicated landscape like an e-commerce enabled website in WordPress, which every one of these is going to be like five, six second loading times minimum. And that's with caching in a lot of cases. Uh, focus enables you to take something complicated like that environment and distill it down to something so simple that you can have pages that, that run this quickly and that deliver you know the result that customers want right away. And so when we think about all those things together, is focus too expensive? The answer is, is focus priced high enough? Because this is not just a... a a uh, you know, a stage one concern where I'm trying to get you so emotionally invested in that outcome that I sell you this thing and then just leave you hanging and let you struggle the rest of your website's life. No, I want to set you up with something you can actually win with. That's what I care about. I care about you actually achieving website success. I don't care if you get to stage one. Stage one doesn't matter. That's the thing nobody wants to talk about or tell you. You have an idea of where you want to get to, but when you get there, Everything gets blown out of the water because you're going to have a whole new set of concerns. You're going, this journey will have taught you things and you're going to realize things like, oh, 
oh, I didn't know I needed this. I didn't know I'd want to make this kind of adjustment. Uh-oh, how do I make these adjustments now? Can I do this myself? Do I have to hire somebody? The bottom line is you cannot predict that full roadmap. All you can see is where you'd like to get to, and by the time you actually get there, you will have a much better idea of what the reality of your website's life is going to be. So when you think about that, Focus is actually providing an unbelievable value that nothing, literally nothing in the WordPress ecosystem has ever matched. This is, un this is uncharted territory here for WordPress products. This is where Focus excels. Focus excels along the whole timeline of your uh, life, you know, lifetime of your website. It excels at every stage of the way. But it is especially built to accommodate you during this part, the mature part of your journey, which is really the actual experience of running your website. So if you want to appreciate focus, if you want to understand the value it provides, you have to understand that the life cycle of a typical website is zero to stage one to stage two. And once you understand all those things together, you can start to see how focus takes care of all these little details along the way. And so that's what it's about. This idea of stage one versus stage two thinking. Stage one is very idealist in nature. Uh, we want to achieve a thing, perhaps we can. Software promises that we can. But stage two is sort of the reality check. Stage two is, okay, we got there. We achieved this dream we had. Now we actually have to run it. You know, it's, more, it's about more than just achieving something that you thought you wanted. It's about getting to this point, surveying the landscape, looking around and saying, ah, I need this, 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 and this, and this. Now how can I do this? Focus answers that question by saying, this is the best way to do this, 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 and everything you want to do with your website. Focus can deliver the best way to do it, the cheapest way to do it, the way that's going to require you to maintain the least amount of stuff, the least amount of customizations. Uh, it's about minimizing all of that stuff to make sure you are running the most streamlined, most high performance, awesomest website you possibly can. And it goes beyond that. It's, a, it's, it's not just about performance and optimization. It's just about sanity. If you want to run something over time, you have got to minimize or reduce complications. Nobody. I, I mean, I'm a website pro, and I absolutely cannot stand to run a, a really complicated, overly customized sort of environment. You just can't do it very well over time. There's always going to be problems. The more complicated your stuff is, the more stuff's going to break every time you try to do anything new. That is torture. I think that's website hell. I want something that works like a champ and is totally optimized and does all the right things every time I want to make a move. That's what I built Focus to do, that's what it will do for you, and that's why it is not only worth it, I should probably charge at least twice what I'm currently charging. Now you understand because you now understand the difference between stage one and stage two thinking. I'll see you next time.